Welcome to the weekly dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we continue our theme about the oneness of Hashem, Enot Milvado, what does it essentially mean. Today we're going to talk about three different ideas, a deep, three different deeper understandings of the meaning of Enod Milvado, the oneness of Hashem, what does it essentially mean. Let's try to... Um, grab the concept as best as we can so that we can really jump into Shabbat Kodesh and um, have more of a grasp of understanding what does it mean to live in Shabbos. What does it mean to live in the reality of Shabbat, of Enod Milvado? So, uh, number one, on the first, uh, we say we're going to talk about three, you know, levels of understanding. The first level of understanding is a very simple understanding uh, of this world. Hashem is the one. He's the one that runs the world. What it basically means is no matter what it is that I have, everything that I have, whether it's um, my talents, whether it's my money, it's my, um, ten, you know, my academics, whether it's my determination, all of that essentially everything comes from Hashem because it's it comes from a place where essentially I understand that everything that I have is there to serve me in my um, it, as I work towards and I and I achieve my higher level of spirituality that uh, essential place that I'm striving to every single a Jew should strive to reach which is a place of ultimate cleaving to and oneness with Hashem now we know that this world is a world of, of illusion, it's a world of untruth, a world of darkness, we've spoken about this before, olam hasheker, the way the world works is that it's always trying to create the sense that I'm involved and I'm doing, where essentially it's nothing but an illusion, and why is it an illusion? Because the world has only one master, he makes the decisions, he provides us with our health, with our livelihood, he gave us our talents, everything that we need, it's all from Hashem. But that's not the way of the world. The way of the way of the way of the world, where uh, so to speak, every normal person understands, is that if I didn't do something, I wouldn't get anywhere. Where essentially, <laughs> the Torah teaches us that the true key to understanding and achieving in this world is to just attach ourselves to Hashem, to understand that everything Hashem does and everything that we have, excuse me, is from Hashem. And He's Adon. He's the master of all the world. He's Adon over it all. So that's essentially the first level of understanding and of Milvado. A second, more deeper understanding of Anod Milvado means that we look at the world, um, our eyes sort of look at the existence, and we understand that not only is everything that I have from Hashem, but Hashem injects and pumps life into creation, into me, into everything, every single moment, moment as it's written in, in Nehemiah, and you give life. To all. In other words, we can't breathe on our own. We can't do anything on our own. Just like a, a machine, chas uh, v'shalom, a person is connected to a machine, so to speak, and he realizes that it's the machine that's pumping life into him. So we need to live in that reality that we understand in this world, just like a machine pumps at times of need, God forbid, not on anyone of Am Yisrael, that, it, that they need to be connected to that machine to pump life. Hashem sustains life and enables life to continue because he has a will for to inject his life-giving force into the world. And if we didn't do that, the entire existence would revert to nothingness. And that is a basic understanding on the second level of Enod Mevado. In other words, Hashem, we are connected to you at all times and without you we have no strength we have no power we have no strength and you're the constant source for all the forces that exist all of our strength everything all of life is only from you last but not least we reach the third and very deep understanding of Enod Milvado is that the world does not even really truly exist oh, this is a very deep one Rather, what does it mean? It means that Hashem's oneness fills and encompasses essentially all of creation. The existence of the world is not an independent reality. It's nothing more than Hashem's divine will in the form of its expression. This world, they say, is in Hashem's thought. He wills it to be so. And there would be no existence or reality 
without Hashem's desire for it to be. And that's a very, it's a very deep concept. Actually, Nefesh Chaim speaks about that. And he, and he even states there that we can't really under, even understand that. We can't really even speak about it so much to Lent because it's so difficult to understand. It's so in, it difficult. It's so difficult to understand that it's actually compared to the word that Moshe Rabbeinu was told to say to Am Yisrael when he brought the Jews out of Egypt to say that who is it that brought them out? Ye asher ye. In other words, the word of Hashem, Aleph, Veke, Veyud, Veke, which is in the future tense. I will reveal myself in the future. Hashem says, essentially, you don't understand. It's a concept of my being that you will, you don't understand, but someday, Bezat Hashem, you're going to understand. So Hashem says to, to me, to, to Am Yisrael, you don't understand the meaning of my name, but one day, Be'ezrat Hashem, you'll merit to, un- to that understanding. So why do we bring all these three ideas together? Because when we say, Enod Mil Vado, which means I, my work is done, I'm essentially done with everything, I'm one with you, Hashem. There's nothing else that exists in the wor- this world, but my time alone with you, it's a day of complete amuna, and it's a day of complete enlightenment of my eyes so I could see things as they truly are. Essentially, I'm saying there is no other existence on those three levels, the simple, the medium, and the deep understanding. There's nothing else but you, Hashem. And if we can grasp even just a little bit of what we're, we're saying today, then we can enter into Shabbat Kodesh, hopefully with a totally different mindset to understand that we are totally living in the expression of Hashem and that Hashem is communicating to us in a very intimate way on Shabbat Kodesh on a level that's not even close to what we are on uh, during the, the six, uh, work day, uh, six days of the work week. In Be'ezrat Hashem, we should embrace that togetherness. We should embrace that Enod Milvado concept and really hug it with our essence as best as we possibly can. Work towards it again. The way to enter Shabbat in the right mode is to prepare ourselves starting Wednesday to start entering slowly into that Shabbat mode and getting ready for it and starting to change our mindset, slow, mindset, my, um, mindset excuse me, slowly but surely. And Be'ezrat Hashem to enter into Shabbat Kodesh with that true emuna and true togetherness of Hashem. And Be'ezrat Hashem, feel the reality. En od milvado. You should have a wonderful Shabbat Kodesh. Experience the intimate level of being one with Hashem. Be'ezrat Hashem lanu. U'lekol bet Yisrael. Amen. Ken yi